Welcome back to another video, everyone. Today I have with us the 2023 Ram 1500 Sport with a GT package on it. This thing has a ton of features. Let's get into it. Working our way to the rear of the truck, we got these awesome Ram Sport running boards, these nice blacked out 20 inch rims wrapped in a nice Bridgestone tire. Your GT badge here, LED tail lamps, nice easy light tailgate. Your sport badge, your Ram badge, seven and four pin. Of course your receiver and then your dual blacked out exhaust tips. We have a 5.7 liter V8 with e-torque putting out 395 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque capable of towing just under 8,500 pounds. We do have these nice LED running lamps, of course your LED fog lamps and all of your sensors along here. I love the way this grill just points directly to RAM. Everything points to RAM. And of course your sport hood. I love the way this white truck looks with these black rims and all of the black accents all over. You have your Ram 1500 Hemi e-torque badge up there. You actually have your white mirror caps here with the black and of course your turning lamp there. It just looks awesome with all the white and the black all over the place. Aesthetically, this is a beautiful truck on the outside and personally, this would be my preference. Let's see if it can keep up on the inside. All right, welcome to the inside of this sport. Of course, Ram's not gonna let you forget what you're driving. You have these GT seats that look awesome. So up front, what we're dealing with, we got a 12 inch screen here. We got a 12 inch screen in front of the driver. There's just so much to talk about in here. I love this steering wheel. I love the way they have the split paddle shifters. It just, it looks so cool. And it really feels like you're in a sporty vehicle. You have tons of storage in here. You have a split level console here. So you have your top here, charging port is there. Then you have your very deep storage here to be able to put everything. If you and your lady are out at the drive-in, you could probably fit a couple bags of popcorn in there. Of course, your cup holder's there. I love the way that opens up. Wireless charger up here, more USB and USB-C charging ports right there. And of course, your aux cord. You don't get that in some vehicles. And something you don't also get in most vehicles now is the actual, well, I would call it a normal shifter. I'm used to dial shifters, column shifters or the dial up here on some of the newer Rams, but this is actually kind of nice that you get the old fashioned shifter. Now, by no means is this Rams top of the line vehicle. There are a couple trims ahead of it, but there are just too many features in this truck and this truck has too much to offer to be considered a mid-range truck. In my opinion, this does rank up to some of the higher level trims. This would definitely rank up with a Ford Lariat. Seeing where trucks have landed in the last five to 10 years, this is an amazing truck. It's, all these trucks nowadays have way too much to offer to be considered the mid-range vehicle. One thing I don't like about the inside of this truck is it doesn't have the moonroof. It's got all the controls for it, but I'm missing my moonroof. There's not too many things I don't like about this truck. I love the finishing on this truck. I love the white color with all the black accents all over. I think it looks really sweet and I really want to get this thing out on the road and we'll talk more about the inside of it. No other vehicle, at least no other truck that I've seen has this kind of paddle shifter with the actual back controls here, which is why they had to split it, but it still looks freaking cool. The 5.7 Hemi is a great engine. They've been doing it since 2003. It's been refined and redesigned throughout the years. And I really do like how it drives. I love the way it sounds. You really don't get that sound of a V8 anymore. Like the Ford has all the noise dampening up in the hood. So their five liter sounds like their 3.5. Now inside of this truck, I've driven a lot of Fords, I've driven GMs, I've driven Chevrolets, which Chevy and GM are the same, but the space in this truck is unlike any other. The old, like it, it would compare very close to a Ford, but the back seat in this truck, it gives you a ton of room. I'm six feet tall and I had plenty of room. I was lounging back there. No heated seats in the back, but you know what? It's the driver and the passenger that are gonna get pampered in this truck. Now, I do love the, the way the shifter is. It's the, it's the classic. I mean, it's not a column shifter or anything, but I really do like the way this is positioned. 
I'm not a huge fan of the dial. I get it does give you more space in your console and you're able to have those sliding consoles as well. But I, I do like this, even though it does take away from having the sliding console as you would in say the 25 or 3500 with the column shifter or in the new Ram 1500s with the actual shift knob up front there. The steering wheel in this is like any other of the Rams. It's comfortable, it's heated. Cool if they invented a cooling one, but there's already too many creature comforts. The screen in this, it's very easy to use. Played around with it a bit. I've configured it to where I can actually play around with my uh, AC controls while I'm driving. So I'm not trying to pick and choose all the way through the screen to find it because it is a little bit difficult without any buttons, but I still like it. I love the screen in front of the driver. I love this new screen. It's, I've seen the Ford screens. I've worked really closely with them, but I, I do have to say, I do like this one a little bit better, even though Ford has all the different drive modes and all that and all the cool features that come with that. I still do prefer this one. It's more minimalistic and it just gives you more of the information that you actually need while driving rather than, you know, a video game. I do like the e-torque feature of this. I mean, it doesn't, you're not re really gonna get it if you're doing a lot of highway driving, but in town while you're coasting down hills, you're gonna see that it does kick into the eco mode, but it, it's really not gonna make a difference if you're just highway driving. Now the seats in this truck, this one does have the GT performance seats, but um, I do find the seats in this one a little bit wide. They don't hug you as much as some of the other uh, sport trucks or sport trims. They're very comfortable and the leather on them is nice, but I do, I do find them a little bit wide, but not in the sense that I'm falling out of it. It's just that I do have some more play in the corner. This truck's visibility is actually pretty good. The way the hood slopes down instead of some of them, like uh, the Nissan Titan, where it just kind of continuously goes out or some of the Ford Broncos where it just seems so much bigger than it really is. Like you're definitely driving a bigger vehicle than a Ford Bronco, but the visibility from a Ford Bronco is out onto a flat hood, making it seem to you like you're driving a much bigger vehicle. Whereas this one, the visibility is actually quite good. The mirrors are large as well as the rear view mirror here. The visibility in this truck is probably one of the best. I found the Fords, the Ford trucks, the pillars here, seem to take away a lot more visibility than this. And it's just something I'm noticing coming from Ford trucks into a Dodge that I haven't driven in months. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Let's take a look at what you look like driving this thing down the road. That is it today for this Ram 1500 GT Sport. Keep subscribing for all those new videos we have coming up weekly. This has been Vehicles Unlimited and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.